Hello and welcome to Geek Art 77 where we compare and review tech. Also, we give out tutorials on you upcoming YouTube creators on OBS and Streamlabs. I stream on Twitch every Tuesday and Wednesday. So we pretty much do stuff like this. We, we talk about stuff like this. We give out tutorials, so make sure you do go over there and give us a follow. In this video, we're going to be looking at Ride Sims and a Stream Deck. Okay, I've actually seen a tweet not long ago when someone actually showed a picture of a stream deck and ride sims and I was like, I've got to get on this. I have to get on this. I actually have two stream decks. I have the uh, stream deck Elgato, sorry, the Elgato stream deck mini and also I've got the XL. Is it the XXL? XL? I don't know, there's too many. So I thought to myself, I've got this hanging around. So I thought, let's use, let's make use of this. And I do play Ride Sims quite a lot. So yeah, I, I, it's interesting to see how this is going to work. I'm assuming it's using keys from your keyboard. So uh, yeah, let's have a go at this. Okay, when you've installed all the software for your Elgato Stream Deck, it will look like this. You have six buttons. Very, very simple, very easy. And if you, obviously, if you see on the right hand side, you've got all these types of uh, commands, what you can do for your Stream Deck. So all we're concentrating really today is key. So if we click on key here, we have it here, hot keys. So what we'll do is we'll pop all of these five on here, just like so. Now, what's really cool is you can easily just say here, I don't know, we'll say this is going to be the dispatch. Uh, let's shrink this as well. This is the beauty about this Elgato Stream Deck as well. You can customize all your buttons, whatever you want. Also, we've got here, we could probably say gate open, maybe. Going to need another one as well that we always seem to use the restraint. So maybe harness up, maybe. We have that one and obviously harness down. Now there is other ones as well, which you can, uh, you've got like several pages. You can have as many pages as possible using the stream deck. You can have about 50 if you want to, but obviously these are your main ones, what you're going to be really using a lot. So uh, yeah, we've got dispatch. Now what's really cool about these is that you can customize these as well. So it may look a bit plain Jane, a bit boring here. So what we've got here. So if I click on this little tiny arrow where it says dispatch, where it says dispatch here, click set it. And then what I've done is I've actually done some images. So this could be my dispatch just like that so we need like an open air gate so we could have like a green arrow opening the air gates so we could have this one we've got a closed one so click down this arrow maybe do, do, do. have we got a red one yep we've got a red one just here we've got harnesses so if we click on here this is harnesses up so if i look on here there we go harness up we use that one and we use this one for your harness down you don't have to do this it's just something that i know uh, that visual wise I can see it for example here we go guys this is what it will look like everything is matched to the actual things what we've just put on now so from the website from the software sorry from the Elgato to the actual stream deck so you can see exactly what buttons you are pressing instead of just words because sometimes it can be a bit small and you like, can't see so uh, yeah so now we've got our buttons all on there so we need to pretty much command what button presses what so we know, for example, on Ride Sims, that is the game. You can do this on the many games using your, if you're using your keyboard, you can use a stream deck. So we know for a fact, dispatch on Ride Sims is spacebar. So if we click on it, click on this little tiny little arrow here, it will give you all the commands on your keyboard, what you can use. So we know it's a spacebar. So if we click space, there it is. We know that air gates is gonna be left. So if we click on here, go to left, right is obviously close air gates so if we click on here we've got harnesses up so we obviously know that's going to be up and then we've got harnesses down there we go you don't have to have them buttons you can have whatever buttons you want also if you've got other ones like e-stop and stuff like that if you click on your second page just here you can do an e-stop here um you can do as much as you want to do really so now we have all our commands done on our elgato stream deck we need to go back to the game Okay, so what I'm going to do is by just pressing these buttons here, we're going to make this train go without touching the keyboard at all. So if we press the close button just there, the air gate's closed. And then all we have to do now is push the harness down just there. So when we press it, the harness will come down like so. And then we'll wait for the dispatch. There we go. And then we press go just there. 
So if we press go, the train will move. And there you go, guys. I know it's a very quick video. I just thought it was a really cool concept, the fact of you can use a stream deck to play ride sims. And I obviously play ride sims quite a lot. Uh, I play it a lot, actually, on Geek Out 77 on Twitch. So go over there, support us. It'll be, uh, it'll be amazing. And this is what we do. We pretty much do tutorials and help you guys out anyway. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow us on our social medias on Instagram and Twitter. And like you say, I do stream on Twitch every Tuesday and Wednesday at 8 p.m. So we'll see you guys there. Geek out. See you soon.